Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, I'm not a vengeful person, per se. You know, I don't like to necessarily just get even with people and all that. You know, until things build up to a certain point, And at some point, you, you, you want to get even. Philly 500, he's my boy, okay? Now, I want you to understand something here right now. Some of you, literally, if you saw me, Eagle fans, you'd punch me in the face because, you know, you think that me and Philly 500 are mortal enemies and everything else, and you need to defend his honor. It's not like that, okay? We are friends. We talk on a regular and things like that. And I have gotten more shit from Eagle fans all off season and this season and everything else. And it feels good. It feels good to get a little bit of rep, uh, retribution, uh, just to get a little bit of payback. You know, it's funny. I, I, I've got, let, let me play a little clip for you. This was before the game. Which book? I do not have to tell you how important this game versus the Cowboys in. While they talk about Dak Prescott being MVP, while they talk about how the Eagles are the worst 10 and 2 team in history, while they tell us that Jalen Hurts should get benched, while they tell us that our team isn't good as any other team out there, as they tell us we should just give up, after they say all that stuff, all I can say is this bring out the brooms. The sweep is coming. Do it by do way. Kick dig back here. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. I don't have to tell you how big this game versus the Dallas Cowboys is in Dallas this week. Dallas Cowboys have won 14 straight games at home, but you know what a winning streak means? It means it's due to come to an end. And the only thing that I want to hear people talking about is what size broom are we going to get the Cowboys? Because there is a sweep that must go down. Now, I'm feeling very... Very chippy today, very ready to play some football. I wish I could put that helmet on and run through a wall, you know. I'm so sick of hearing, oh, the Eagles, we got our butts kicked by the San Francisco 49ers. Oh, my gosh, whatever are we going to do? Get over it. Oh, the Eagles, they don't have Jalen Hurts. He's not the MVP candidate anymore. It's Dak Prescott. Who cares? Oh, the Eagles, they're the worst 10-2 and team to ever be in existence. Bull crap. All I can say is this. I'm, he, I'm sick of everything that we've been hearing all week. I, I could care less. Okay? Yes. Did we lose to the San Francisco 49ers? Yes. We went out there and we lost to them. It sucked. We had a horrible game. But I have not and I do not understand how people can think this team is some giant frauds. And we've heard from it everywhere. The, the amount of trash that the Eagles have been thrown at them has been crazy, right? You have, first of all, you have uh, Bosa of the 49ers trying to tell the Cowboys that they have the blueprint on Jalen Hurts. I mean, listen to this. Yeah, I mean, you see it on tape, though. Uh, and then obviously we put the blueprint out there hopefully the Cowboys watch the tape um, we made Jalen stay in the pocket and escape outside instead of those B gaps and uh, paid off well here you go you have San Francisco 49ers and Dallas Cowboys players and fans alike all making out with each other hugging each other bending each other over the couch doing God knows what to each other they're, they're all friendly now okay so here's where it gets to be interesting because this was yesterday's walk of shame. What the hell just happened? Yo, by the way, kick dick back here. Hope everyone's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing. Hope you get in there. Welcome to We Got Our Butts Kicked Monday as the Eagles fall to the Satanic Dallas Cowboys. 33-13, and I can't help but think what an occult number that satanic number 33 is. 33.3, .3, half of <laughs> what? 66.6, .6. move the decimal point over. You got 666, satanic Dallas Cowboys. And they whipped our butts, no question about it. Now, let me say congratulations to all the Cowboy fans out there. 
uh, I have no excuses. Congratulations to Mark Holmes. Congratulations to Duke Bothers, who won a jersey bet with me. Uh, I will be reaching out to you uh, to make plans on getting you that jersey. Um, well deserved. And um, yeah, congratulations to all the Cowboy fans out there. You beat us. You whooped us. I got no excuse. I have nothing that I can say. Uh, you were the better team last night. Um, and there's no excuses for that. So congratulations to the Dallas Cowboys. Enjoy your win. Enjoy it while it lasts. And uh, as far as our Eagles, we've got a lot of talk about, especially on what's going on with this team and my opinions on what we're really seeing. Because to me, when I look at this, this game versus the Cowboys, I feel like I was watching the 5th, 6th, and 7th quarter of the uh, San Francisco 49ers game. How does a team... I'm going to leave it right there. So, yeah. You know, it's funny because I'm always told all of the things that Philly 500, you know, says that are um, thought to be the gospel. And, you know, it just feels good to see him have to do the walk of shame. But I tell you what, since we're having fun right now and payback is a bitch, okay, I want to bring back, because you, because you watched this far, I want to bring a little bonus in here. You know, it's kind of like those, uh, you always see, but wait, there's more. There's more. All right. Let's, let's check it out. We are on the eve of camp, and the Eagles are sitting pretty while the Cowboys and the Giants prepare for holdouts. And could it be possible that we have been sleeping on the biggest sleeper that there is? Professor Kenneth Gainwell. Kenneth Gainwell? Are you serious? Meanwhile... He slid and he went head first at him. That's a penalty. Why do they call a penalty? First of 10. Gainwell's still on the field. Motherfucker. That should be a that should be a personal foul. Mother humping bullshit. First of 10 at the 42. Hurts. Back to pass. Looking, looking, throws. He gets hit as he throws. Intercepted. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because guess who's on the field? Guess who's on the field? Kenneth fucking Gainwell. Kenneth Gainwell sucks. I. It's Gainwell's fault. It's all Gainwell's fault. Get him off the field. Fucking Gainwell. Get his ass off the field so we can score some points. Every time he's on the field, we don't do shit. <laughs> Gainwell just, what is he doing? He's just standing there picking his ass. What the way I got my ass today? Oh, some corn and stuff. Oh, look, an undigested tomato. What is he doing? <laughs> God, I can't stand this Gainwell shit. <sighs> You put Gainwell out in the field. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Plus, they should have called the pen. It was a personal foul. Oh, well, those things didn't age too well, did they? Philly, you know I love you, son. You know I love you. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I'm going to enjoy this today. I needed a good laugh. I really and truly did. And Philly, you know, the season's not over. It's not over. But um, I will say that uh, it was interesting listening to some of your people. And I'm going to end this listening to Seth Joyner. He might be somebody who really knows the Eagles. Blame to go around everywhere. You know, and after losing to two of the best teams, not only in your conference, but in the whole National Football League, this football team is in trouble. They're in trouble because in the NFC right now, in my opinion, the only team that they may have a snowball's chance in hell of beating if they get into the playoffs is the Detroit Lions. 
that, that, that that's the only team the way that things are structured that they may face that's that's the only team that they have a shot at beating okay and I'm almost to the point now where we look at the end of the schedule and we say well you know we got these for sure wins they might not beat the damn Giants right. they, they, they might not beat the, they might not beat the Cardinals down the stretch listen you laugh Mike uh, Mike you're, you're no, laughing no, I, 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 I'm, I'm they're that the bad way you're saying it I, I don't think that they will lose to the Giants no you don't Arizona. think so you I, don't. I, I think the Seattle game all of a sudden becomes a little tougher than we originally thought but, but here's the thing if, if we look at it realistically they played the two teams that are the, their contenders uh, in the NFC, right? San Francisco and Dallas. They came up short against them. No, Mike, but, Mike, but, Mike. No, 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 no. No, we're not going to sit here and minimize it because we're I'm been, not minimizing. We're, no, no. no. Get a, wait a minute. That's my point. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> we're not going to minimize it because we've been doing that with this football team all year long. Okay. Because in Philadelphia, what the media and the fans don't want to do is they don't want to look at the deficiencies of the football team when the football team is doing well. So as long as they were undefeated, oh, you know, at least we're winning. The, the main thing is the main thing. We're winning, right? But no one wanted to talk about it. No one wanted to address the shortcomings of this football team when they were still winning games. And when they got lucky and won games in overtime, and got lucky and won games that they probably should have lost, okay? So now now that things are coming full circle, we're not going to minimize, you know, the fact that they got their asses blown out the last two games, okay? It's not a matter of them not being able to handle. They got disgraced. They, they did. Two games here's, in a row. Here's what my point is. The scope of their deficiencies are measured against the two teams that we now know are better than that. But it's, the 49ers it's, and the Cowboys are better than that. It's not You're just right. those two games, though. It's, well, it's but, but irreparable. It. But you got to look at what the project on where they could be be at the end of the year. doesn't the matter. Only, it does matter no, it because doesn't. they're going to be in a playoff situation. You said the only team that they could possibly handle is Detroit. They're going to play Detroit in the playoffs. So it's all going to come down to whether we say they stink or not, it's all going to come down to them playing in the NFC title game at the 49ers. You really, what else could possibly happen? In your heart of hearts, you believe that? Do you think if this football team keeps playing the way this played the last two weeks, who are they going to be playing like that, Mike? The rest of their schedule. They're that? not beating the rest of their schedule playing the way that they're playing. Turning the ball over the way that they turned it over. Being as inept and inefficient on the on the offensive side they're of the not, ball. Listen, not being able to stop the run I and not being able right to stop the pass and not being able to 